I have not seen it snow this much, probably in years. Do you want to go skiing? Do you want to go skiing? Banjo, come here. Are you ready to go skiing? Okay, let's go. Holy crap. It didn't snow all December and all of us people who are active cyclists, runners, etc., throughout the rest of the year, it gets to winter in Vermont and we're like, okay, where's the snow? Because it's too cold to do anything else and skiing and backcountry skiing is really fun. So I've been, been like fingers crossed for snow and it finally snowed. Everybody said like Massachusetts is gonna, this winter storm came up. <clears throat> was gonna dump on Massachusetts. Vermont wasn't gonna get any. We're like mid-southern Vermont. We got a absolute boatload. She's making fun of me for vlogging. <laughs> Did you think it was gonna snow that much? No. Do you like the snow? <laughs> Not as much as you. <laughs> Joe's favorite activity in the world is touring because he gets to go ahead of me on the way up and then he gets to chase me down. But I think today he's basically gonna be like drowning in all the snow. <laughs> skins on before you get to the mountain. I'm so it's only a five minute drive to the mountain from my house. Convenient, but I think it's gonna be interesting to get there. <laughs> I've been to reverse down the road because I can't turn around because there's that much snow. Like I cannot believe how much snow is coming down right now. It's, you get that weird childish feeling when it snows a lot and you're just like, how is that even possible? What is all this white stuff? Banjo, are you ready to go skiing? Are you ready? fur so especially when the snow is super champagne powderly powder y like it is today it's very important to lather his paws up with this stuff he's not a fan come on come here okay help, help. good boy <laughs> Oh my lord. Oh. Holy crap. It, there's got to be like 20 inches of snow. I've made it that far. <laughs> what do you think, Banjo? What do you think? All right, it's time to work our way up. Holy crap. I'm about a third of the way up and it is 
not easy going. I think I actually probably have to turn around to take Banjo home because he can't even, he's like drowning in my skin track. Like look at how deep this is. It's ridiculous. Like that freaking deep. So I'm probably gonna take a quick lap down, drop Banjo back off at the house and then meet up with Brooks and Dave to do some real skinning. Hopefully they can help me break trail like because normally it'd be about a 45 minute skin up. Um, but in these conditions, it's probably gonna be two hours. But once it's set, it's set. One. Brooks, let me get down there too. Wait up. Good. Oh, dude, are you kidding me? <laughs> Your pole's like this, it's pretty good. <laughs> That's fucking photo is sick. Dude, it's, it's getting you. better. Thank you. Telling you, I'll never be the one to say I'm not hiking again. <laughs> sure. But imagine if we were a little higher and you could see the just oh, the ridge dude. a little bit. You could Look see it. Alright, I'll hit wide. I'll do the wide. Dude, that shot is unreal. too excited yesterday with all the snow and it was nearly impossible to break the camera out of the backpack with I think we got a total of about 40 inches at our house and even more up on the mountain but it's the next morning still just as much snow outside um, I'm gonna go back up skiing again but I thought I'd break down what we did basically took us two, three, three and a half hours to break trail all the way to the top of a Scutney. And then skiing down, you couldn't take one turn out of the skin First track turn. without just coming to a complete stop. Um, I've never seen Vermont get that much snow. It was absolutely outrageous. I consider backcountry skiing to be like the gravel of winter sports and I think if you enjoy challenging yourself aerobically, you like trying to be fit in the winter, staying moving, and you like adventuring, and you enjoy the downhill just as much as the up, backcountry skiing is going to be a great bet for you. I highly encourage you to check out Scutney Outdoors. Their trails are amazing. Um, also, Ross, the, the Rasta trails up in Randolph. Zach Freeman puts those on. There's a lot of cool organizations starting to thin trails and create more backcountry access in the state of Vermont. So, I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.